What's up, y'all? It's your girl and I for kicks. Um, I mean, we're just gonna jump right into it, guys. Like, I kind of feel like Jordan Brand did me dirty. I mean, to y'all, it may, may, may not be such a big deal. And no, like most of y'all, or unlike most of y'all, I'm not talking about the shoe necessarily itself, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, as if you didn't see, but maybe you just didn't realize on the thumbnail, uh, your girl scored uh, two pairs, well, made two pairs happen. Um, got a, a men's size and a grade school size, obviously. I feel cheated. I feel like they did grade school so dirty. I'm, I'm shocked that they gave us the elephant print bottom. Um, but we did not get the nice reimagined distressed box. I'm very disappointed about that. I am now thinking about it and I don't know for sure how the grade school um, lost and found ones were because your girl did, as I mentioned before, if you didn't catch it or didn't, whatever the case may be, go check that video out. But as I mentioned before, I went with a size, like a men's size seven in the lost and found so that the collar, you know, the back of the shoe was a little bit higher. Like I didn't want it to give a mid vibe like a lot of grade school ones do. Again, that's my opinion. I'm taller, it gives me like a little bit more of a mid vibe. Um, so I got the full, like the full package with that shoe. Like I got the, the distressed, you know, lost and found reimagined looking box. I got the receipt inside, which the threes did not come with, but I don't know. I don't know why we couldn't just add that like little extra bit of detail. Like if we're gonna, if we're gonna add the elephant print at the bottom, like why not just go the whole, you know, the whole way but that's all right it's cool i got my pair how we got his pair so there are a couple of things on the shoe especially the grade school size that i was very excited about um but before i go ahead and you know pull out these beauties guys if you haven't done so already make sure that you're subscribed to the channel um like i said before your girl is always you know finding something that's maybe unreleased or you know an early little in hand look whatever the case may be i guess they're both kind of the same thing but whatever the case may be um make sure you check your girl's short out i am starting to do youtube shorts i'm trying to get a little bit more consistent it's hard it is really hard working a regular job and doing you know content creating but i'm trying so check it out um you know it's the jordan 4 the sbs that are coming out on the 21st so check it out show some love let your girl know in the comments what you think of the shoe um i mean while we're talking about it real quick i i've seen people say that they've entered like 40 i think it was 40 different raffles for it so raffles are everywhere i hope that person gets their pair because that's like some serious dedication especially considering that some of those raffles I can almost put money on they take your payment immediately like they they pull your money and if you don't win that's when they refund it I don't have the bank account to be doing all of that with um so we'll see what happens with that pair it is a clean pair not something I want but we'll see we'll see what happens um, and guys hit that notification bell and go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up for this video while you're clicking all those buttons. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the shoes. Um, let me go ahead and show y'all the men's because I feel like most of y'all are familiar with the men's. Most of y'all are men. Shout out to the females that are subscribed to the channel and checking out the video. I appreciate the support. So you've got just like the fire red threes, I guess it's a threes thing maybe. Um, you know, they included this nice little booklet that gives like the whole breakdown of the shoe, details, technology in the shoe, all that fun stuff. Um, we did not get that in the grade school size, but I mean, you can keep your booklet, um, it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out both shoes because one of the biggest issues that people have been having with this pair is that elephant print. A lot of people, there's quite a few people out there that it's like super faded on one shoe and then darker on the other. I do not like that they did like the little little plastic little thing on the, the tag. I feel like they could have at least given us that little plastic chain because this is not something that you can take off and put on. But I don't know, they cheaped out with the quality all the way around, I guess, but I still love this shoe. So... As you guys can see, the elephant print is pretty, I mean, it's pretty uniform. Um, 
yeah, on the back for sure. I'm noticing as I look at this more on the toes, uh, the right shoe is a little bit more faded on the elephant print there, but it's really, it, I mean, if you're gonna notice it when you're on, like when they're on somebody's feet, you're gonna be like magnifying glass to their foot. Like nobody's doing that. Um, one other big thing is the leather. It's that tumbled leather, you know, kind of throughout the shoe, as opposed to some images I've seen people post that one shoe had tumbled leather on the toe and the other one did not. It was just the smooth flat leather, which is insane. Like I really, I'm really having a hard time figuring out if people are like trolling with some of their images. Are they photoshopping because they know that people are upset with the quality control with Nike and they're just kind of feeding into that, getting some views, getting some likes, getting some whatever. Um, or if this stuff is really happening because another thing that was mentioned or posted is that somebody got a pair that had the Jumpman on one heel tab and then the Nike Air on the other. I'm sure most of y'all, by the time you're looking at this video, have seen that image. So, I mean, let me know. Do you think all of the defects, all of those crazy, ridiculous defects are legit? Like, do you fully believe it? I'm not saying it's not, but I just, uh, just feels like a lot. It feels like a lot over the top. Um, the bottoms are, I mean, it's a standard three, but one thing that I noticed, and again, we'll get into the grade school in a second, but I'm going to pull out a, like a previously released three and see if the difference I with that one is the same with the men's as it is with the grade school. And I'll explain in a second. Um, we just have the tinker threes. I say just as if it's just a regular three, but it's, it is a fire three. Not to be confused with fire red threes. So I'm trying to see, I mean, to me, the size wise, it looks, I mean, you might have a slight, you know, size difference. It might be a teeny little bit bigger. Um, let's see. The, I feel like, I don't know, I guess with the men's, the toe box looks a little bit like more, like not quite as high, as tall than it does on this one. I don't know if this one's because it's worn, but anyhow, let me get into the grade school so I can look, kind of explain a little better why I'm doing all of that with the men's, um, because clearly I have not done that previously, so you're getting like a super authentic reaction to that. Now, aside from the box, I did get, you know, I, I got my little sticker that you, you men don't get, so be jealous. I wouldn't be either, so it's okay. But, my pair, not only is my pair really nice, I mean, the leather, the tumbled leather is like, it's like super tumbled, like, let me show you the comparison between the men's, because I didn't even realize it until hubby said something, but mine is like, the leather is a lot more tumbled than on the men's pair, so, I mean, as long as they're both tumbled leather, that's all I care about. The elephant print is pretty pretty uniform on both shoes as far as you know the darkness and everything so I'm really not mad about that as most of y'all by now know this is definitely a potential for sneaker of the year for your girl so it was a must grab but I so I debated really hard on what size to get if I needed to spend the extra 50 bucks and get a men's size 7 which would have been next impossible because they didn't release, I think only on sneakers did they release a men's seven and that's like next to impossible to grab. Um, these did come from sneakers. I did miss out, I think I mentioned it before, I missed out on like all the flex apps, all the, you know, and didn't even enter in a bunch of the, the ones that I should have. Um, but when I put my foot in this, and yes, I already put my foot in it, it fit perfectly. And I was actually like, very pleasantly surprised because with threes and like threes and 14s and I think there's probably another silhouette that does the same thing but they tend to fit in the grade school size just a little bit tight I mean your girl will crunch up her toes for a dope pair like and to save a little bit of money or whatever the case may be like I'll make it happen but if I don't have to especially for you know such a, a an important shoe to me 
I was really excited that not only did I save the money and got a grade school size, but it fits a little bit big. Um, I've seen people, key to your soul, she said that, you know, you could even go down a half size on this shoe. I mean, obviously your girl couldn't, but you could because of the way that they fit. Now, as I just showed you with the men's size, there is a little bit of a size difference. I'm gonna show y'all, you know, well, since we're, since we're doing it, let me just go ahead and pull out another classic three. But I do uh, wear this shoe quite often, but it is, I mean, I feel like you can see where my toe kind of sticks up a little bit because it's crunched in there. It's not bad, but it's not super comfortable for that reason. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. But you can see, it's like the same thing as the other ones. It's, you know, this, the white cement is a little bit bigger. You can see at the very end right there. Um, and then I feel like it's, you know, you don't have the, the toe box right here. The toe kind of curves back a little bit. Whereas on the white cements, it goes more straight up. So it gives you more toe space. So it really gives that, you know, much more comfortable fit. And I cannot wait to wear these. But don't worry, these are not going anywhere either. So maybe I, maybe I just need to open up a, a space like right near them. But yeah, I mean, if you guys couldn't tell, your girl is super, super excited to have added this pair to the collection. And make sure that, again, make sure you're checking out the shorts. So hit that notification bell um, as well as go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram so you can kind of see what little fit I put together with these because... I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'm going I'm to do something, something different with them for sure. Um, let's see. I already talked about the Jordan 4 SB collab that's coming out. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a W on those for hubby, but we'll see what happens again. And we have Kicks for Your Soul coming up. So that's in a couple of weeks in Orlando. So again, guys, if you're in, you know, if you're in Florida in general, like it's 100% worth the drive. Maybe get a hotel room, stay the night while you're there. Whatever the case may be, bring some pairs to sell. You know, if you have merch that you do, your own merch, t-shirts, sweatshirts, pants, whatever the case may be, grab a table and sell there. I'm telling you, you will make money. Like it's such a dope event and there are going to be so many amazing YouTubers in the house, including your girl. So check that out. If you're following me on Instagram, I've got all the information um, posted within my, I believe it's, if not, I'll share it in the story, but you'll see it. You'll see all the information. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and just like admire the heck out of my uh, reimagined white cement threes. And as always, guys, keep tuning in. See what I've got my eye on next.